this is going to be my response to Spooky University's topic of the butterfly effect. And essentially what that is, is if you change a thing about your, your past or a part of your life, how would that affect things down the road? I have so many <laughs> possibilities of things and um, one example is um, I was dating this guy when I was 15 and he asked me to marry him and we even went and got the blood test and everything but my mom said no you cannot marry him because you had to have your parents permission um, had my mom said okay my life would have been totally different. I would have married this guy. Um, I probably would have had kids. I probably would have dropped out of school. Um, things would have been a lot different for me. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? What else can I talk about? Um, I was in a relationship um, before I moved to Kansas City and had that had I not done something really stupid to screw up that relationship then I probably would still be in Georgia I would still be in that relationship um, I, I assume I'm guessing all this of course is is a guess um, my business might have been I, I had my own company when I was in Georgia so my business might have been a lot I might have been alive and well and going on um, uh, another thing another possible thing so um, had so I met my husband two weeks after I moved to Kansas City uh, and he and I dated for a little while and then we, I mean, we, we went out on a few dates and then, and then I thought maybe I was, uh, rebounding or something. And so I wanted to make sure and, um, I broke up with him and then I, uh, I called him later and he said that he almost didn't answer the phone because I had, you know, it, it was because he didn't want he didn't know if he wanted to talk to me so had he not answered the phone I wouldn't be married to him right now um, yeah had I not moved here and um, worked for a temp company and well actually moved here I tried to start my business and it didn't work out had it worked out it would have been a whole different thing um, but it didn't work out so I went to a temp company and uh, worked various temporary jobs and had I not gotten this one temporary job in um, the industry that I'm in I wouldn't have been in this industry for 12 years or more I wouldn't have even known this industry existed because I didn't know it existed before I started working in it um so those are just a few examples that's only three minutes in on this but those are just a few examples of had I changed one thing about my life uh, everything would have been different now let's look let's let me think of something that's re seemingly really small <sighs> hmm I don't I'm trying to think if there's anything that would be that would seem to be really small but then actually it would have been a big deal Um, but it seems like a lot of the stuff and I'm sorry I keep moving this around but my arm got tired <laughs> um, it seems like most of the time it has to do, you know, if you if you made a change in your past, it would probably be a change in people, you know, or place. So I was trying to think of something small like, you know, had I taken a left one time instead of a right, what would have happened? But um, I don't think I, I mean, honestly, I guess had I taken a left at some point and not taken a right when I was driving, maybe I would have gotten in a wreck or maybe I would have, you know, went to a, found a store that I never knew about or, you know, I don't know. But um, it's funny how when you think about it, anything in your life that, that, 
change would have changed even if it was one small thing it could have you could have ended up in a totally different place um, there's also some people have a theory that for every decision that you make the alternate there's an alternate universe where you made the other decision you made the other choice and so your life goes down in the alternate universe <laughs> your life goes down that other path and so imagine how many decisions that you make every single day and multiply that by you know or multiply that by the number of possible realities that there could be and you know you've got a you've got a an alternate person who is living whatever life other life would have been i, I kind of think that that's an interesting like you know a parallel dimension where in that dimension i did marry that one guy and we did have kids and you know we we i stayed in georgia and i never met you know my ex-husband and i never met my relationship after that and you know who knows who knows what could have been but but the alternate reality is is going down that path and of course i'll never know because i am their alternate reality so anyway i could go on and on about that but I do think that it's a really interesting concept and you know a lot of people will say if I could change one thing about my past I would change X um, but they don't necessarily think about the consequences of changing that thing and I think about the movie it's a wonderful life because you the the premise of that is really that he said everybody would be better off if I wasn't here and so he was shown what things would be like had he not been born and he got to see how things were different because he wasn't around. So that's sort of an interesting concept too, you know, how would things change if you weren't even there, if you weren't even, if you're never born. Anyway, sort of interesting. But, um, but I also like the flip side of that, which is people saying, I wouldn't change a thing because everything that I've been through has gotten me to where I am today, whether that's good, bad, or otherwise. So, um, I'm, I tend to be one of those people that leans toward that side of it where had things not happened the way they happened, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't know the things I know and know the people I know and have the family I have and the friends that I have and things like that. But, um, it's also sort of interesting to think about what would have been had I made different decisions in my life. All right, so that's it. That's my response to Spooky University's butterfly effect topic. I hope you have a good day or good night or whatever, wherever you are. And if you want to, run on over to Spooky University and join in on the conversation. All right, talk to you later. Bye.